chillaxing. <laughs> All right, looks like uh, Twitter and Facebook's on. Waiting for YouTube. The YouTube is on. We are ready to go. So what's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? I'm shaking my hand here. Got my like uh, from holding the using the mouse all day long. So you got to like kind of get the hand, <laughs> the movement and the hand back going here. So I got to get my movement back. Um, let me see here. What's the date tomorrow? Tomorrow's the 14th. Awesome. Just learning. I like to hear that. Tomorrow we'll do the watch. We'll do it for tomorrow. The fort. Well, tomorrow's the fourteenth. You too. Um. I so want to show you guys something, and I'm so debating it because I know, like, I want to play a video for you guys, and I know half of you are going to love it, and the other you, half of you, are going to absolutely hate it. So I'm like torn between showing it. Because that's exactly what I want to say. Um, and unfortunately nowadays, you can't play anything. Like everything, unfortunately, nowadays becomes a political divide. So you could actually talk logically. Actually, it's one of my frustrations in life is that, you know, I have political opinions just like everybody else, right? Um, but there's a lot of things nowadays where you, you can't actually talk logically about stuff. What's up, Blind Trader? Um without people having to go immediately to politically, right? So like when you question anything nowadays in this world, any type of question, even just using logic, many people just can't handle it. I can't tell you that's one of my biggest pet peeves in life is that even though I have certain political views, I can have uh, talk to people on the other side of my political views differ from them and actually think rationally and have a logical discussion and use logic. But a lot of people, unfortunately, nowadays can't do that. So I saw this video and unfortunately, like I'll put it right up and eventually if I, if I play it, half of you guys will love it. Half of you guys will be super triggered. What's up, Jake? Um, but the logic of it is just very, you guys see this video yesterday? It's actually gone viral. Have you guys seen this Dave Portnoy video? When did flattening the curve go into... When did flattening the curve turn into finding the cure? Have you guys watched that video yet? It's actually got four and a half million views. I'm still haven't torn yet if I'm going to play it right now. There's a lot of language to it. But have you guys watched this? It's actually a very, very logical... <clears throat> well, okay, whatever. I'm going to play it. So I'm use, giving you guys the teaser that uh, there is very bad language in it. So I will give you guys, if you guys get, put it this way, here's the caveat. If you get offended by anything easily, take the next five minutes and don't listen to me uh, or don't listen to this video. If there's, you don't want any swearing for the next few minutes, just come back with the five minutes. Well, Nick, I have to say it, guys. Uh, I have to uh, I have to give you these preferences because they're swearing and people will easily get offended. So that way, as I put it out there, um, <laughs> what's the safe word? Um, then we'll come back and discuss it. So this will be more than just a watch list video, but I think it's very important information. So that being said, I'm going to play it. It immediately starts off with swear words. And then we can come back and discuss it. And honestly, what he's saying, guys, you'll find out it actually applies heavily to the stock market. Whether we like it or not, it's a very, it's very, this, this stuff applies. So I'm going to play it and we'll uh, <coughs> talk about it in a few minutes. All right. Uh oh. No, it's not. Is it, Rose? This is going to be offensive, Rose. <laughs> you might want to go earmuffs. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, Corona rant time. Whenever I do a Corona rant, half the people fucking hate me, half love me. We'll see where this one lands. What the fuck's going on? When did this become flatten the curve, flatten the curve, flatten the curve to we have to find a cure or everyone's going to die? Like Fauci. Seems like a nice enough dude. I've always been a guy, no agenda. Looks like he could be maybe the grandfather in Wedding Crashers. Gets in front of the Senate. He's like, we reopen the country too quick. Everyone's dead. 
Where'd that come from? And the LA mayor. We're not open in the city till we find a cure? What? Find a cure? Who says we're going to find a cure? We haven't found a cure to cancer. It took AIDS 20 years or whatever. Do we even have a cure? So the economy just shut down? All we've heard forever, flatten the curve, flatten the curve, make sure there's hospital beds. We're there. Now all of a sudden it's like a 180. This is like taking a cross country flight, six hours. They tell you flight six hours. Five hours and a half go by. They get on the intercom like, oh, just kidding. We have another 10 hours. You can't do that. People have been mentally preparing. We're doing what you ask. We've done exactly what you said. Now you're changing the rules. In some states are open, some close. LA shutting down, New York shutting down, Arizona is opening, Florida is opening. Seems along political lines. What is going on? And what about people own businesses and economies and shit like that? You can't stay closed indefinitely. Imagine working for like a year, five years, 10 years, two decades, grinding your fingers to the bone to build the business. Far so, thank God, we'll be all right. I'm talking about other businesses. People have jobs who've worked their whole fucking lives off to put food on the table, create a happy living. They're just gonna go out of business? They're gonna wake up whenever this thing ends, whenever uh, the mayors say, oh, you can go back to work? Work to what? Your company's gonna be out of business. The economy's gonna be in the shitter. There's gonna be no jobs. How the fuck are you gonna pay for your, uh, your family, put food on the table, all that shit? Like, what are you doing? You gotta give these people a choice. If you told me, because of Corona, I lost Barstool. I had to go get a nine to five and start fucking over. I'd rather die of Corona, seriously. Or at least take my chances. I'm not saying everybody would do that. I would. But if I've dedicated 20 years of my life, I don't want to start over. I'll fucking deal with Corona. You can't just make everybody stay inside and basically start over. It's insane. Like, what the fuck do they think is going to happen? At some level, we've done what you've asked us to do. If you're that scared still of Corona, Stay inside. The beds are open. It doesn't kill every. I get it. It's not a great option. There are no great options. But you can't just decimate the entire economy. How the fuck is that going to work? We're staying inside till there's a cure? When did that become the game? Who said we're getting the cure? That's not a guarantee. So we're just done as humans? Get the hell out of here. There's risk. We're Americans. You have to take risk. If people want to go out, they can go out. If they want to stay in, they stay in. We've done what you've said. You can't just midstream be like, just kidding. Flat in the curve, flat in the curve. Uh-uh. Cure. What? When did this happen? When did this happen? And it can't sustain. At least we have a chance if we go out with Corona, like Switzerland and those places that just let it roll. We have no chance if you don't let people go outside. This country is going to be done so. No one's going to have jobs. No one's going to have businesses. It's going to be done. We're, it's over. Let me roll the dice and play with Corona, or at least give me the choice. That's all we want. Interesting, huh? So, like, so here's, like, right off the bat, right? So I know it immediately, immediately, there's one of two, usually one of two opinions after watching that video. Immediately, people are going to think he's Republican and a Trump supporter, and he's anti whatever, anti-medicine or anti-liberal or Democrat. Uh, first of all, I don't know his political views. I don't know if he's somewhere in the middle, if he's... I, I, re I have no clue what Dave's political views are. But the funny thing is, a week ago, about a week ago, he went on an opposite rant telling everybody to wear masks. Like, stop being an asshole, wear masks. So actually, when, pe when he made that video about a week ago... People would have then thought, oh, he's Democrat or liberal, whatever you want to say. So he actually made two polarizing videos, one saying just wear your damn mask and the other one saying this, and he's getting heat for both sides of it. But if you put it in perspective and really think about it, it's not, this is not actually a political issue. It's become one, right? And that's the thing that's the difficult thing. If you guys watch it now. Um, it is, it's more of the Republican states are opening up and more of the liberal states in general are not. That's become a political issue. Forgetting my political issue, my political opinions doesn't matter. The reality is that's what's actually going on as of right now. And we've been shut down. I'm in Connecticut. We've been shut down for, it's been about two months. And so what, if you look at just the words he's saying, he said a couple weeks to flatten the curve which is not he said that that's what they did tell us and here it is 2 months later 
And there are states that are shutting down for a few months. So again, regardless of what you feel or don't feel, this is a very important thing that we have to watch what happens with this because it can affect it obviously can affect the economy. You know, so if you're going political divide, if Republican states open and let's say more Democrat states don't are, you know, certain states going to have better economies than others. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, but it's you know, it's I mean, this affects everything, guys, it affects the stock market, it affects all of that. So that video uh, <laughs> got four and a half million views. And honestly, he said basically what I'm thinking was swear words. I actually probably have more swear words inside of me. And a lot more things I'd like to say. So that was actually his video would be the tamer version of what I would what I would like to say. If I didn't have this business, I'd probably say much worse than he did. But it's uh, definitely uh, I found it an interesting video. But it's it's sad nowadays that you listen to it and you immediately have to go politically. And that's the thing you guys got to think about. Just think about it in general, right? Forget about like, again, I know nothing about science in the medical field, <laughs> but what he said and just the logical choice, if you keep things shut down until you find a cure for the disease, what will our world and country look like? Yeah, that's not that's not a Democrat or Republic issue. That's actually just a very logical issue. I'm sure there are a ton of uh, li- people on, that are liberal that own businesses that are losing their businesses and losing their jobs, right? So this doesn't just affect one side. So if more Republicans are trying to open things up, it's not like only Republicans would benefit from it, right? Or or only Democrats. You know, again, there's both sides are affected by it. So you got to think about this really just logically for a moment that even, you know, regardless of what you feel personally about the virus, the fact of the matter is, if you keep things shut down, I mean, QE could probably only do so much. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you can prop the stock market up, which makes you think the economy is good. But if if you never open again until there's a cure, what if there's never a cure? Like, do you never open things up again? It's just things to think about. I've definitely been thinking about that a lot lately. And uh, that's why you guys have heard me. I've voiced some of my frustrations. <laughs> And uh, let's just put it this way. I feel more, a lot more along the lines as he does, probably worse. And I just, good thing is I have to tame myself on here and <laughs> won't say what I really feel. So, all right. Let's take a look at the market and see what's going on. So we had a little bit of uh, a nerve wracking day. And then what happened, guys? You had a double top failure right over in here, right? right down to the base of the of the double top and then bounced right back up so now i don't even know if you want to call that a hammer or what you want to call that that's kind of a nasty looking one um <clears throat> let me see some of your comments here first before i move on Da-da-da-da-da-da. you want a restaurant Ron, tell me about it power money control grab mortgage holders the <laughs> get ready for yep yep bradley uh that's uh i mean that's a good that's interesting um (laughs) no i well on my previous videos i've let you know how it really feels how i really feel um (laughs) let's see as it stands now blackrock is preparing for roughly 52 percent of small businesses to reach bankruptcy and blackrock typically has a very bullish stance Keeping things shut down is a choice, tough choice, no matter where you stand on. I mean, it's fact of the matter is, guys, it doesn't matter what you think. It's like it, it's just a matter of uh, like a lot of people don't realize you could have, let's say, if you have more of the socialist stance, right? Like if you think the government's going to pay for everything and bail you out and all of that. Well, government also gets money from who? Taxpayers, right? So but if taxpayers are not paying taxes because they're not working or they don't have jobs, makes it a bit difficult right so if you think you can kind of just stay home and the government will pay for your you know pay for you to live all the time yeah you can print a lot of money but it only goes so far right so it's not just that easy like it's got to come from somewhere (laughs) there's only so much printing you could really do and uh it's just uh very interesting how this is all going me personally, I feel very freed now. I'm wearing my mask a heck of a lot less. 
I'm only wearing my mask now when I have to go into stores because uh, now I'm only doing it to play the game. So I feel way more free. I was way more stressed wearing my mask every day and not going out in public. Now I'm going out, I'm seeing people, I'm not social distancing, and I feel great. I actually feel better. So <laughs> if I get corona, I get corona. You guys remember that video? I should play that video again for you guys. Did you guys see that one with the... Uh, Oh, this video is so good. I got to play this for, just real quick for you guys before I do the watch us. This, if uh, the kid that says, if I get Corona, I get Corona. <clears throat> Where is the uh, video? No, not that one. It might be. A, let me check on YouTube real quick. This video is great. I played it for you guys when Corona first happened. Where is it? If I get Corona, there it is. I think that should be it. All right, this guy right here. This is great, guys. Here we go. Ready? <coughs> this is Kyle. He invented one wheel to destroy boredom. If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna let it stop me from partying. You know, I've been waiting. We've been waiting for Miami spring break for a while. About two months we've had this trip planned. Two, three months. I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna let it stop me from partying. You know, I've been waiting. We've been waiting for Miami spring break for a while. About two months we've had this trip planned. Two, three months. So we're just out here having a good time. Whatever happens, happens. Like it's really messing up with my spring break. What is there to do here other than go to the bars or the beach and they're closing all of it? It's really messing up. I think they're blowing it way out of proportion. I think it's doing way too much. Doing us bad. We need a refund. This virus ain't that serious. It's serious. It's more serious things out there like hunger and poverty. We need to address that. Yeah, I mean, we planned this a long time ago and it was kind of up in the air if we still go, but like we're here. I just turned 21 this year, so I'm here to party, so it's kind of disappointing, but we're just making the most of it. We met these other people in our little Airbnb spot, so we're just hanging out with them and trying to get drunk before everything closes. I mean, it sucks, but we're going to make the best we're of it. Enjoying we're enjoying time, ourselves. Yeah. It sucks, and I'm from New Orleans, so this really sucks. However, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. We having day parties all day. It's my birthday, St. Patrick's Day. Turn up. We're just trying to roll with the. We're, we're <laughs> just living for the moment. We're just going for. We're just gonna do what happens when it happens. When stuff closes, we're gonna do it when it closes. But uh, uh, besides that, we're just trying to have the best trip we can. We're yeah, one more sec. He goes. If I get Corona. I get Corona. I get Corona. I get Corona. So that's that. Rodrigo, you're, uh, you're welcome, buddy. That's awesome. You uh, did a stock in our watch list. <clears throat> Make sure you follow it only if you know what you're doing. Don't just, I always like to put a caveat, just because an alert goes off, don't take it. But that's awesome. You made 20% and you're taking the courses. That's awesome. Remember, a lot of the ones on our watch list fail a lot, just like most stocks or many stocks do fail a lot. So I will do the watch list in a second. So yeah, guys, I have to admit, I was wrong. In the beginning, I played this video making fun of these people thinking that they were crazy and they were nuts and they weren't following social distancing. Now I'm kind of envious of them. I'm like, those guys did all right for themselves. And Florida, I have, I know people down in Florida and they're doing pretty good down there. So, you know. Maybe that maybe he had something right back in the day. Maybe this kid had it right. You know? So who knows? Depending where he lives now. I don't know where he lives, but <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so the spy. Nice day today. Nice green hammer coming in. We'll have to see now. You got some resistance. Right around that 287 to 293. You had a double top failure. Saved right down here on the daily. Let's take a look at the hourly. Hourly, it's above the 50. So yeah, it's got that 200 SMA resistance. Let's look at the weekly charts. Weekly, it's caught up right between the nine, 
the 20, and then you have the 50 SMA above. So you have the 50 SMA resistance right at that 300 level, basically. No surprise. <clears throat> and it's basically the 9 EMA and the monthly that it's hitting right now for resistance. So got to watch and see. Let's see what you guys have left, and then we'll look at the doing the watch list. Do, do, do. One in four restaurants reported not to reopen. It's absolutely nuts. Drunk kid. I mean, it is crazy, guys. You have they did shut everything down when what basically what ninety seven, ninety eight percent or something of people live. So that's very it's interesting, very interesting to see how that all happens, but. All right, so let's take a look at the watch list from going into today. <clears throat> from yesterday, you'll see on our website, bullishbears.com. Uh, so tonight, I'm only going to do the day trade watch list, not doing a swing trade one going into the weekend. But again, many of the ones we put on our day trade watch list, you could basically uh, potentially swing trade them to um, uh, be with due to, uh, you know, some of them have a higher float. So UAVS was on the watch list. And that one, there was a green hammer right here. So we're looking to see it break above that 132. You can see today it just creeped up, came back down. It's still in play. I personally don't like red spinning tops like that. But you'll see it kind of creeped up to... Uh, it just had a quick little move up, 132. You know, not. I mean, for considering for a dollar, you know, dollar stock, when you look at it, let's move in. Yeah, it's kind of crappy, like these choppy candles. So me, this is where I'm saying, guys, don't trade something just because an alert goes off, or it's our, or if it's on our, or because it's on our watch list. You got to look at the patterns and stuff. This one's very sloppy. It did go off and it went up a few cents, you know. So it basically went up about seven cents. Would I have traded this one? Probably not. I'm not a fan of these kind of crazy candles like that. Uh, so alert went off, kind of eh. CFMS. Uh, this one, you can see right off the bat, didn't get much volume. So let's look at the pattern here. So you can see this one, we're looking at the hammer on the daily right over here. So you can see, didn't have a good day today. Um, so this is where, again, guys, pay attention to these because you'll see, like, you'll see even this past week, a few of them have fired off. You can even say here, GGAL, that was on last week's watch list. So that one started to move up again today. So, you know, you keep an eye on these. You know, this one may be done and may fail, or it might come around next week before it kind of goes and takes off. So today, this one didn't do much of anything. It didn't break that hammer. Uh, AYTU, I think this one did good earlier today. <clears throat> yep, so AYTU did pretty decent. So that was pretty much above this candle right here, that kind of hammerish right here. So 172, got up to 190 today. So that was a decent move. Oh, and then look at aftermarket, huh? Aftermarket, geez, something's going on aftermarket. So this one had a quick move up. Again, I'm not a huge fan, guys, of these types of candles. You know, these uh, these ones like this. You know, I'm not a fan of those kind of tweezer types of candles. It did take off if you caught it from 180. You know, you would have had to sell it up there, you know, 190. This, you know, this is where you got to be careful, right? It kind of breaks out. If you don't sell right off this green candle, it dumped right back down. You still would have made a few cents, but eh, I'm not really kind of eh, you know. So you got to be careful. Again, I don't like these kind of, you see these candles, these kind of manipulated candles like that. Not a huge fan of that. G-E-L. So, so far, not the greatest for today's watchers. But, you know, put them on, keep them on and, you know, if they don't fire off tomorrow, maybe sometime next week, kind of readdress it um gel so here's another one that didn't take off today you can see here was a hammer here we were looking at a break of this hammer and as you can see price didn't get really above it today it's still kind of in play though <coughs> so 
you know, again, that's why I'm saying don't sleep on things. You know, you maybe it doesn't go off tomorrow and then sometime next week it takes off. You still have kind of that flag pattern there, right? So, eh, to that one. And then fro, we struck out today. Not so hot. And fro did not take off at all. Was fro on it? Yeah, fro. This one I don't like anymore at this point because we were looking for a possible reversal up and it failed. So struck out on today's watch list. Um, but a couple of them still might be in play. So again, just what I do, as you can see here, I kind of just uh, keep ones from our previous watch list and kind of look over them and readdress them. Uh, so you'll see Gal, G Gal, I was saying Gal Gadot. Uh, that was on our watch list last week. And as you can see, kind of, <clears throat> came back in today you have kind of a piercing pattern so this is a nice day uh on g gal i think we had it back here so you could have had it on a potential run up taking your profits now it came back down held support um it might continue up see if it can get above that kind of that stay above that 820s level with that 940 or so and then this 890s resistance so kind of a head and shoulder so just Again, that's why you just watch these guys. You'll see a lot of them, they're higher float stocks. So there's a lot less pumping and dumping. Um, so that's why you'll see I kind of, I pull up our watches. Levi's, I think that went and it had a decent day today. So it didn't go off the other day, but that's where sometimes you might catch it on a dip buy. It doesn't do what we want it to do. And then you catch it at a, as a potential dip buy instead. Today was a decent day for Levi, but Levi's was... The spread on it was very weird. It was a few cent spread differential, which I didn't like. <clears throat> and Apple, or APLE, that was one that had a pretty decent day today. That I'm not sure where we had that one at. Was that on last week's, or was that one I was just watching? I was watching it today, but I don't know if that was on a watch list or not. I have to say. Let me see. So here's our previous watch list, watch list over here. <clears throat> so yeah, it was on 5.11's watch list. So where was that? So that was... Uh, I think it was going into here because I was looking to see if it would break this green candle. So yeah, it didn't break. It just failed for a few days. And then it had a, a reversal up today. So yeah, this week's watch list have not been the greatest, to be honest with you. Your bag holding Myos played it off news, got took. MYOS. Oof. So guys, this is a perfect example of what I'm what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I'm not saying to not trade these stocks, but like look at these candles. Like those candles are an absolute mess. Not saying you can't make money and not saying not to trade them. I personally don't because I can't find any patterns in that. You know, I like patterns. I mean, you can go off of support resistance. It's just, a, it's a, when I see that, it makes my head spin. It's like a mess. So you have to be careful of those, just those crazy, those crazy candles. Um, what did you say, Jake? John Carter had a call at Larry. Here are the notes. Are those kids all in the hospital? Or are you just saying that? <laughs> they could be. Uh, okay, so what did it say? Do you think things are going to get better or worse? Calls from BlackRock's founder, Larry Fink. Expect mass bankruptcies, empty planes, cautious consumers, increase in corporate tax to 30%, financing fears in corporate America far exceed 2008. 52% of small businesses expected to be done in six months. 20 million job cuts according to ADP data. Not a buy, hold, and pray market. It's a market for traders who understand timing. I mean, it's, I mean, great point. And that's only, we've only been shut down for two months. What if we never opened until we found a cure or something to that effect? Or we stay shut for another three months or more? That's scary stuff to think about, guys. Very important. Put politics aside and just think of the logistics of that. Again, jobs, <coughs> joblessness, 
bankruptcies. That's not a political thing that affects any side of the aisle. So stuff to think about. Very uh, interesting stuff. <sighs> All right. So let's build the watch us for tomorrow. We're going to do just the day trade one. So again, I try to find stuff that looks like flags. I don't put stuff when it pops up like this. So, you know, if you started seeing like these candles, these little hammers, possibly this doji that was a flag, I'd put something like that on, not when it turns like to high wicks and high wave candles, stuff like that. I try to avoid that. Oh, ACB might be doing a reversal. That's a lot of volume on Canadian pot stock. Did, does anybody know, did ACB have a reverse split recently? Weren't they like under two bucks? They must have did a reverse split, didn't they? Does anybody know that? Because now I see it at six bucks. I'm like, that wasn't six bucks. I thought it turned into like a penny stock. Yeah, that did a reverse split. It wasn't 150 bucks. That's a bunch of crap. Yeah, so they must have did a reverse split. So ACB, that might be potential. Oh, I would have loved to have caught it right here for you guys. Right here would have been perfect. That bull flag on the hourly. So we may put ACB on because these pot stocks may be having a potential another pump again. We'll have to see. Um... Yeah, it did have an R uh, twelve to one reverse split. Yeah, we all get excited as new traders, even as experienced traders. You get, you know, it's it's every day, every single day. It's a grind, and having the mental, having your trading rules and your mental, having your mind straight, very very important. I struggle with that too, guys. Especially with doing this too. It's like there's lots of distractions. We're doing the business and I'm doing social media. I can't tell you guys how many times I, if you notice when, that's what I, I've been telling you guys, make sure you follow us on Twitter uh, and stock twits. So just follow us right here. If you go to bullish, just type in bullish bears on Twitter. Oh, there you go. Bullish bears. <clears throat> hey, that's me. Here we go. Ready? And the billionaires. Hey, I'm tired of all the millionaires and the billionaires. Hey, hey, I'm tired of all the millionaires and the billionaires. That's a great Bernie impression. You guys got to give that to me. <laughs> but if you guys, again, follow us on Twitter because I try to post off and Dan post during the day, but I try to like when I'm posting this stuff, I'm trying to post it before, uh, you know, as it's happening or what we're looking at, you know, it's easy to post it afterwards, but I'm trying to call when I'm, when I'm posting <clears throat> some of the stuff from the watch list or stuff I'm looking for, like right here, as I'm posting these ones right here, F L E R E T and A P L E I'm posting as watching for possible red to green moves. That was on the way up before they actually went red to green. So I'm not posting at like, you know, at the last moment. I'm trying trying to uh, as it's going up to give you time to look at it. So, you know, but as I'm doing that, many times I'm posting that stuff. And as I'm posting it, because I'm trying to give you guys some time if it moves, I miss my entries. That happens to me a lot. <laughs> I probably lost a lot of money posting stuff on Twitter for you guys that I could have just not posted it, posted it afterwards and been better off, but... So make sure you follow us on Twitter and on Stock, twa stock Twits. <laughs> We're bullish bears. So let's see here. Might put on CIT potentially. Let me look at car again. <clears throat> I might put car on as well. Let me take a look at that one. Hmm. 
Hmm. When is Bernie coming for another visit? Uh, maybe next stream. I did some already some rants today, so I got to probably give it a break for people. Right? I might should stay professional. That was awesome on Bernie. Maybe I'll give a Bernie because he's he's very. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. He's not as polarizing as I guess Trump, right? So I could do. I am tired of all the millionaires and the billionaires. Bernie, I keep trying to tell you, man, you're a millionaire. You know, like, I don't know why you keep saying millionaires. I am tired of all the billionaires and the trillionaires. Are there any trillionaires out there, Bernie? I didn't think there were any. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know of any trillionaires. There could be. Bernie got awfully silent when I asked that question. Supposedly Bezos is going to be the first, quote unquote, he might be the first trillionaire that we have. Good for him. He could be the first. <clears throat> uh, maybe Axel, A-X-L. We'll have to see. So Axel has this really, this kind of is bullish engulfing on the daily. That's a pretty nice pattern. Uh, let's see what else we got. Hmm. That kind of has a possible flat top or inverse head and shoulders for CDE. I'm not going to put that one on, but. Yeah. Lots of these reversals, like right underneath moving average lines. I try to, try to pref I prefer to have them above for you guys. Um, hmm. It's a little bit overextended. So yeah, guys, a uh, PSA or public service announcement. When you're doing our watch lists, again, these are stocks. Many of them are medium and higher float stocks. Most of them take, you know, if they do go off, many times they'll have pullbacks and then it might take a couple days before it'll go up again. Just because an alert goes off, don't trade it, right? You have to know how to trade first. These are not our real time trade alerts. These are our trade alert setups. We do have real-time trade alerts or stock alerts <coughs> up here where we post our trade alert setups is right over here on our website. We do have real-time trade alerts uh, that you could follow our entries and exits, and we still do lose, guys. We don't have winning trades 100% of the time, but these are more on real-time, like larger cap or options or spreads. Um, you know, they're le you know a little bit less volatile. So if you want real-time alerts, check them out right over here on our website. So again, these are more of our setups. Don't take the trade just because it goes off. If you're like, well, I don't know how to trade, well then great, take our courses, learn how to trade first, then you uh, can take our, you know, use these trade alert setups, um, but also practice paper trading in a paper trading account first before you trade live, very important. So you don't blow up your account. Hmm. <clears throat> AGNC. I don't know. I might. I'm still gonna weed these out. I'm just trying to look at which ones I like best for now. Hmm. That one might be interesting. Oh, AGI. That's uh, gold. 
Alamo Gold, 821. This one might be interesting. I might put that one on. Gold's still creeping, guys. Still creeping up there. All the ones I bought from your list this week have been winners. Thanks. You're welcome. <coughs> that is a good thing. You know, mo many of them do. Again, a lot of them will pull back. Um, but that's where, again, what's nice about these, they're more higher float stocks, so they're going to be less, less pumping and dumping. Hmm, that might be a reversal. That one might be interesting. Uh, C Dev, I think that is a <clears throat> is that a pot stock? I forget. This one might be the sub one dollar stock we might be looking at right here. Possible cup and handle right off the nine EMA and the daily. Kind of an inverse head and shoulders on the hourly. That might be the penny stock I put on the last C D E V potentially. AMRN, let me take a look at that one. Uh, yeah, so that was on our watch list last week. You can see AMRN's been kind of creeping around, guys. So this is one, I forgot when I had it on our watch list, Some week, somewhere back here last week. I think it was right around in here. Creeped up a little bit. But see, as you can see, guys, you know, this one's still kicking around. I don't like it really right now, but it might be holding some support here. You can see some resistance right here on 840. Uh, so we'll take a look and see on the hourly. It's caught between the moving average lines. A little bit sloppy here on the hourly. It might be an inverse head and shoulders. Um, I don't like it right now, personally. But again, it's trading sideways. It just might be trading in a range. It could still break out. It could also break down. I'm not a fan. I like it more like in this range here, not when it gets to these spinning top candles. But, you know, just got to watch and see if it holds support there. Uh, CSFL might be doing a possible reversal. <clears throat> this is interesting right here. It's above on the hourly, and on the daily, it's doing a potential reversal. So that one I like as well. Just, I like some of these potential reversals. Lots of them going on right now. Oh, might be a possible penny stock one, C-O-R-V. Might be maybe setting up on the hourly possible flag there. Uh, that one's possible. I might put CORV. So get a couple sub one dollar stocks on there for you guys. Oh, another possible reversal. Gee whiz. Lots of them. Looks like these the banks. 
And another one. Banks. BKU. <laughs> so here's a perfect example, guys. Remember the one I keep telling you guys? I always call BBAR Bill Barr. <laughs> so remember I was telling you about that one like a week or two back, and I actually didn't put it on the watch list. And as you guys can see, it's been moving up. I don't know when I talked about it. It may have been somewhere in here. But you can see it's possible flagging right now, BBAR. I call it Bill Barr. Possible cup and handle. That one might be interesting. I actually might, maybe I'll put Bill Barr on the watch list. <laughs> uh, that one might be potential. Potentially. Oh. Uh, that one might be moving up to the gap, AROC. Was that, that must have been on one I was looking at recently. <clears throat> that one's interesting. It's got a daily gap. Not sure if I'm going to put it on right now, but I think I had that one on a watch list. Was that on? That may have been on a week or two's watch list. I think I had it right here. That might be a perfect example. So you can see I already have this charted out. I think it was on a watch list. I had it above that hammer. You can see it's still been in play. So I think that was on one that was going probably on this watch list right here, right on the 5 7 one. <laughs> Possibly for EDT. Yes, we are live. All right, <clears throat> so let me actually take a look at Pfizer. Pfizer I had on one of the watch lists this week. I'm not sure. I think it was on this one. You can see it actually hasn't done. Oh, that was on the 12th. What's the date today? The 14th? 12th. So, yeah, I had it above this candle. It hasn't broke out yet, but it may be. Keep an eye on it. Maybe double bottoming. We'll have to watch and see. <laughs> So let me kind of weed this watch list down a little bit. Uh, I'm not. Am I gonna put? I'm not gonna put ACB on. Not gonna put. Uh, actually, not gonna put car on. Am I? <clears throat> hmm. Maybe. All right, I'm going to get rid of AGNC. Bank United. Man, it looks like these banks might be reversing. Um, all right, so I'll get rid of either Bank United or 14. Let's see. That's closer. Which one's the city? Center State. Where is that city? 
fruit. I might get rid of that one. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. So Corve, I want to see if it can break above that. Some resistance right around that 43 cents. Get a pump up to 50 to 60 cents area, potentially. <clears throat> Watch if price can break above 43 with resistance between 50 cents to 60-ish. So watch if it can break above these 40s area, and then you can see some resistance for 50 to 60 cents area. Cup and handle-ish, 99. There's a daily gap right around that 123. Be aware of this daily gap between 123 and 148. All right, so cup in handle on daily watch for watch if price can get above one dollar and move into gap between 123 to 148 ish, right? So if we can get above the dollar, right between that 123 to 148 ish. Bill Barr, cup and handle. Resistance right around that 380 ish. Oh, there's a daily gap. <coughs> Just watch right over that that gap right here. That's where I want to see right there. Three eighty three to four oh seven. Four oh seven. Three point eighty three to four point oh seven. Cup and handle on daily watch if price goes into gap between three eighty three to four oh seven ish. Axel Full flag. I might. Am I going to keep that one on? Full flag. Cup and handle ish. Resistance right around six twelve. <coughs> Bull flag on and bullish engulfing on daily watch for possible move up with resistance around six twelve ish. So a bull flag, kind of a bullish engulfing. Watch for a move up with resistance right around that 612-ish area. Oh, 
830s to 880s. <clears throat> Possible watch for possible continuation on daily with resistance between eight thirties to eight seventy seven. So watch for potential continuation with resistance between 830s to 877. Watch for potential reversal with resistance at there, that 950-ish area. Inverse head and shoulders on the hourly. If price can get above that 50 SMA, some resistance at the 90 MA. Watch if price can get above. 50 SMA on one hour with resistance at 9 EMA on daily. Not liking this one as much. I like it a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of care right here. <clears throat> a little bit too close to the moving average lines. So we're going to get rid of car. See, I like to get some room on the reversals for you guys. See some room, right? Some room. So, yeah, I'm not going to put CAR on there. All right. So some resistance right around that 50... SMA on the hourly right there. Inverse head and shoulders on one hour. Watch for possible continuation with resistance at 50 SMA on one hour. <clears throat> BKU, in, same thing, another bank stock right around $16, inverse head and shoulders. Bank stocks might be moving. Inverse head and shoulders on one hour. Watch for possible continuation with resistance at 50 SMA. All right, guys, so it looks like bank stocks might be starting to make a run up. So let's see here. Oh. BDN. BKU, 
horror. Bill Barr. CDEV. CSFL. AGI. Axel. Yeah. All right, so let me see what you guys are saying. You are not late for class. This will be replayed or it'll be on YouTube. <laughs> You're late for class. I like it. Hi, Lucian. Since the bad news is out on the market, can we expect to go the trend to go bull or bear next week? Well, it's a very good question, guys. No clue. No clue. If you look at it, I mean, today it looked bearish, and then you have Viam coming in, holding up support. So now we got to watch and see. Will price get above? You know, where's price going to end up, right? That's what we're going to watch and see. And let's see how the weekly chart looks. You know, we'll have to see how this weekly ends. You know what I mean? It's right caught between the 9 and the 20. We'll see if we can get above the 20. Then if so, it might have some room up to 300. Uh, I mean, it's still I mean, it's still in play. It's very choppy. But um, honestly, you guys, it's just you got <laughs> to got to play this day by day. It's all these candles are just basically just a lot of spinning top candles. This is one of those that's not a spinning top, right? So you can see that's a like kind of like a whole body candle. Here's a whole body candle. Lots of spinning tops throughout here and through this process. You know, that's a nice looking hammer. This is a nice hammer. So you can see one, two, basically three hammers holding that 280 level. So we'll have to watch and see, you know, if we can get above and continue up. I mean, I wouldn't bet against, I mean, again, guys, it's not a political thing, but I wouldn't bet against Trump in an election year when he's in control of quantitative easing. You guys can say as anything you want about how terrible the economy is and people without jobs. That's that's just fine and dandy. But if you prop the stock market up, remember, if you use, if, I'm not saying he's gonna, don't, guys, don't quote me on quantitative easing. I'm not the one that said they're gonna, I'm gonna use quantitative easing. You know what I mean? There's lots of articles. You know, they've been using quantitative easing since 2008 to prop the markets up. Uh, the Fed's basically said they're going to keep the market up. And Trump is basically in control of the Fed and the Treasury right now with whatever they've done behind the scenes during this coronavirus stuff. So put it together. Now it's a matter of when, right? <clears throat> they keep saying they're going to use quantitative easing when. They might not need it now. So, you know, are they going to just, is it going to go up without using quantitative easing? Will they use quantitative easing to prop it up? Or will the market dump or sometime this summer? Maybe it'll dump and it'll roll over and it'll dump down and then they use quantitative easing to push it back up. I don't know. Or maybe they don't use quantitative easing at all and it's a fake out. I mean, but if Trump has the power to use quantitative easing and he wants to get reelected, don't be surprised if he... <laughs> Brings the stock market up to all-time highs at some point. He may not. I don't know. That's the gun. Go, again, going back to the beginning of things, guys, we talked about, and I played that video for you guys. Um, if you keep the <laughs> if you keep the country shut down until you find a cure for coronavirus, forget about the stock. The, <laughs> I mean, nobody will have the money stock. Or, you know, who's going to have the money to even do anything in the stock market? If nobody has a job, right? <laughs> and no more money to put into the 401k or to trade stocks or buy stocks. You need money to buy stuff, right? Common sense. So the longer you keep people out of work, you know, a stimulus check ain't going to go very far. It may put food on your table. Probably not going to pay most people's rents and mortgages, never mind their credit card debt. So forget buying stocks. Most people are not going to have money to have to buy, buy, to buy stocks if they don't go to back to work. That's not a Republican talking point that's not a democrat talking point it's that's just the truth right that's just you know if you have no money you ain't buying anything it's as simple as that so we'll have to watch and see you guys kndi let me take a look uh that one looks like it's heading south not looking so hot at the moment yeah that's not looking so hot. It's got some resistance right now back at that 309. Not looking great at the moment. GS, Goldman Sachs. 
Uh, possibly holding right down here. Let me take a look at the hourly. Uh, oh, it's caught right at below that 50 on the hourly, so it's right near resistance. <laughs> ah, BK, that's a great... Uh, <laughs> just my pain point. I love when people... That's a love-hate thing for me. So uh, BK says, I love the hat. Do you guys sell merch? Well, the answer to that question is... At some point, yes, that's been my pain point for years now. Um, I can't find the right vendor. Our hats are great. I really love our hats. Our embroidered hoodies are great. Love them. I cannot find a good vendor. I actually have a couple more samples coming in. Our current vendor, they all... It's, I can't print. I can't get things printed the right way. I I want this like direct to garment, but everybody has a different version of direct to garment and digital printing and all of that. All I want to know, if you're listening, if you're a printer, I want a nice store, and I don't want things that feel like stickers on my hoodies. Everything I keep getting feels like a sticker. I rub my hand over, and it's a sticker. Like you rub your hand over my shirt right now, it's not a sticker. It's part of my shirt. It's probably screen printed. I love that. I ordered hundreds, if not thousands of dollars worth of stuff from these people. And they give me fantastic Champion and Hanes hoodies that are great quality hoodies. And then you put some shitty ass sticker plastic thing on it and it looks terrible. So... I'm still waiting on a couple more samples. My current vendor, the, they had like they're on their last straw. There's one last order that might come in within a couple weeks. I'm waiting for that. If that doesn't work, I got an, two other vendors that are sending me samples, and then I got to determine between that. But I don't want to sell you guys crap. I want to sell you guys. I, I don't like that's the thing. Like I have, I've said to you guys this whole time. I don't care about making money on merch. I I would put. If I can get the perfect merch out, I would have no profit on it if I could give you the best quality. I don't care about the profit. I only want to sell stuff that I would wear myself. Our hats, I wear. Our hoodies suck. Our t-shirts suck. That's why I don't sell them until I can. It's been going on forever now, and I cannot. I can't get it, and it drives me crazy. <clears throat> That's my rant. Uh, Roku down 20 bucks. Let's see. R-O-K-U. Uh, ouch. Well, uh. well, it needs to hold support around that 115. <coughs> That's a... Some resistance around 135. It's caught right now, so I don't know. I mean, possible tweezer bottoms. Got to watch and see, but might be a cup and handle. But there's a possible cup and handle and then possible head and shoulders formation. I don't know about Roku. CHWY. Chewy. Trading sideways. It's above the it's above the nine and the twenty. I'm not a big fan of those high wave spinning top candles. It's just ah, oh, it's a mess. This is the stuff I hate, guys. When I see this stuff, I'm like, ah, uh, because it's just you just don't know. I just I like clear stuff, you know, like clearer kind of things. I'm not a huge. I don't not like high wave candles and spinning tops. Sounds like a serious pet peeve. Yes, uh, it's a huge pet peeve of mine. Because <clears throat> like I said, guys, I don't want to give you guys crap. We, I have some really great stuff that I'm going to put out for you guys. I got some really great like trading sayings and stuff like that. But like the stuff I wear in, in life in general. Like I like style, like fashion. I like good stuff. I don't want to be expensive, but that's fine. I'd rather, I mean, I don't want to give you guys crap, you know? So the embroidered stuff is really good, but 
I can't find a good vendor, and it makes me upset. Uh, do I think that many Americans will do quarantine? Me personally, no. I think people are going to start flipping out very soon. I think they're going to start flipping out personally. And I think it'll be a big, huge battle between Democrats and Republicans and a big, huge fight until the election. That's what I think. <clears throat> I mean, that's what's happening now, guys. You know, it's not me saying it. It's the conservative states are talking about opening up. More of the Democrat states are talking about shutting things down. That's not my opinion. That's what's that's what's coming out. Me personally, forgetting everything, I think open this shit back up. We're 98, 97, 98 percent of people are living. If 20 or 30 percent of people got a virus and died, that might be a problem. 97, 98 percent of living. Keep things shut down forever. Everybody's losing their jobs, not going to have any money. You won't be watching. We'll survive. We'll be doing great. You'll be watching watch list videos and you'll be jobless. <laughs> and you're going to have no money to trade. <laughs> And so it doesn't matter what, what side of the aisle are on. Keep shit closed forever. You're going to have no money to trade. I'll be entertaining you on YouTube. And uh, you won't have any money to trade. So <laughs> that's, I mean, that's just a fact. You know, that's not even my opinion. You don't open shit up. Nobody, I mean, just common sense. <laughs> so Trump will use QE to keep the stock market up and nobody will have any money. Wayfair, woof. Oh, boy. Careful this uh, gap right here. This had a huge gap up. It looks like it might be failing. Just watch some support around that 159. <clears throat> what do I think about gold in general? <sighs> GLD is looking, or gold looks like it's still going up. It's just also at, you know, it's high as well. So, whew, might be forming an possible ascending triangle. It just gets tricky when it's way out here, you know. So a lot of the gold stocks are still moving up. They're still looking pretty decent. Let's look at the weekly. Getting up near resistance. Still has some room to move up. Just a bit overextended. So there's room. Got to watch and see. You're welcome. <coughs> Can I give an S1 Mar, M-A-R? Marriott. So, uh, possible reversal. Yes, some resistance right up in these areas, 80 to 83. Let's look at the hourly. Ah, if it can get above the 50, it might have some room up to that 200. Possible inverse head and shoulders on the hourly. It needs to get above that 50 SMA. E R A E R I E R I. Oh, uh, that one might be looking pretty decent. So this might be having kind of a bull flag. See if that 2052 can hold, and then some resistance between that 2415 up to 2532. Possible flag, possible cup and handle. <clears throat> this is more of the stuff I start to look at. I like the patterns. Um, and it's above the 50, possible inverse head and shoulders. That's the stuff more of what I start to look for. Uh, yes, we do have resources to help you learn volume patterns. We have free courses on our website, bullishbears.com. You can register for free here. Take all of our courses over here. We do have a whole entire candlestick section, which we have a candlesticks ebook as well as two courses right here for candlesticks. So here's a lot Again, these things, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, guys. To learn candlesticks, it's going to take you a long time. You're going to have to look at, I'm not even going to say hundreds. You're going to have to look at thousands of charts over the course of months, if not a year plus. So I see this stuff. It's only because I've stared at this stuff. I mean, who knows? Probably tens of thousands of times, you know? So the more you look at it, you know, they, they start to make more sense. I like patterns a lot. So I like stuff like this, like, you know, like these types of things, right? So I like these kind of flags, these pullbacks for the breakouts. That's my style. When you start asking me, you know, when I start looking at those charts, like I was telling you guys were like, oh my God, my head wants to spin, you know, stuff like, obviously you can see this is resistance, but if a chart is filled with like just stuff like this, like high wave candles and spinning tops, I hate that stuff. Um... 
why is there a huge gap on what? Uh, probably because the stock gapped up. So when a stock gaps up, many times it goes back and retest again. So gaps are really important support and resistance levels. ACB, I was saying earlier, that one might be trying maybe possible reversal. Um, let's take a look at the hourly. I would, I, if I caught it right here, I would have put it on the watch list. Now it's all screwing me up after hours with this big hourly candle up. Still can go up. It's got near resistance right around that 200 SMA. All right, guys, I'll look at one more stock here for, oh, boy, it's Namakita. I was going to end the stream, and then Namakita comes on. Where'd you come from, Namakita? It's my boy Viraj around. Is Viraj hanging out? See, I was going to end the stream, but now I got a whole bunch of energy now. Square, that one's breaking out. Let's see if it can hold some support right around that. 77 level uh, got some resistance let me take a look at the hourly uh, needs to get above that 78 level see if 77 or so can hold and then it's got some potential up to that 82 that one's interesting possibly interesting Viraj isn't there today? Oh boy, thank God, because I started off, uh, he's on his video games. Good thing, because I played a video that didn't have any good language earlier. It was very, there was cuss words in it. And that's good, we didn't want to have to tell Viraj to do his earmuffs today. But I did tell everybody in the beginning there was going to be swearing in it, so I did give lots of warnings. <laughs> oh, who is that? Where, where is it? Uh, oh, uh, oh, the question should be, uh, Wayne, the questions I'm seeing them on, um, I'm using like this streaming app for YouTube. So they're coming through, they might not be showing on, uh, <clears throat> they might not be showing on YouTube, but like I have a consolidated thing. I use this thing called restream. So it's got a chat for youtube twitter and facebook so that's where i see all the comments so there are people commenting i just see it on a different thing i'm not looking at youtube directly i see it on this like restream chat if that makes sense that's where namakita's talking so namakita thank you for your thoughtfulness you are the best sometimes right sometimes i'm thoughtful and then sometimes i'm not right but that's where again like i told you guys i just think I like to talk stuff out. I like to talk to you guys about this stuff. It's not, again, a virus isn't political. A country being open or shut is not political, right? You having a job or not a job is not political. That's life. That's reality. So we should be able to discuss those things because that affects everything, right? So, again, I might have a political view that's different from yours, but guess what the reality is? If we're both locked in our houses and can never leave, that's going to affect both of our lives, right? It's gonna affect you, it's gonna affect me, right? Depending on our financial circumstances, it could be different, right? But I can own a business and you can own a business and we could both have our businesses shut down at this moment and I could be on one political aisle and you could be on the other and guess what it is? It's not a political thing. We both don't have our businesses open and we're both not running our businesses. That's not political. That's life. We should be able to talk about that stuff, right? So we should be able to talk about it. And if I have an opinion that's different, it shouldn't have to be, oh, you're this aisle or that aisle. It should be able to have a rational discussion. Unfortunately, we aren't able to have rational discussions nowadays. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves. <clears throat> There's not very many people. Guys, I have a lot of friends. I don't want to say I have a lot. I have several friends. I don't have a ton because I don't like to have like a, I, what I consider friends. I have a f several like friends, right? Most of my close, even my close friends, there's topics I can't talk to them about. There's topics I can't talk to my close friends about, right? Whether it's religion or politics or whatever. I hate that more than anything, 
I think that I, that drives me absolutely crazy. And that's where a lot of people will say like, well, you just want people to agree with you. No, I don't want people to just agree with me. It's like what I try to tell people is I don't want to be right to be right. Do I like being right? Yes, of course I do. Of course I like being right. But I don't like to be right to to be able to say, oh, I'm right. So I'm not doing it because I like, oh, I like to be right. I like to be right because I seek truth, right? So I want to know truth of things. So if I'm right about something, then it validates, oh, okay, I have the truth about that subject. I don't want to be think I'm right. I want to know I'm right because I want to know, know what I'm believing is true on all topics, whether it's faith or politics or religion or what any of that, whatever it's stuff, right? <clears throat> so that's where I like, I actually like having discussions with people that disagree with me only if we can actually have a rational discussion. So we actually don't have to, like, I don't want somebody to disagree with me, right? I actually want to have some of the best conversation. It's very rare. I don't get many of these conversations. It's very rare that I ever get a chance to talk to somebody where we disagree and we can have a rational discussion. Usually I end up pissing somebody off because I like push them and then they don't want to like talk about it. And I'm just like, I go crazy. I'm like, I'm trying to talk to you, right? Why can't you talk rationally? Like just talk, you don't have to agree with me. Just talk rationally back. We should have a healthy discussion. Guy, I can't tell you guys, there's, I'd say probably less than a handful of people in my entire life that I can have rational conversation with, less than a half. And that's, these are people that are great, love these people, right? But I just like, okay, well, I can talk to them about politics, but I can't talk religion. Or I can talk to them about religion, but I can't talk politics. And I think it's bullshit, guys. I don't think, like when they say you should never talk politics or religion, I think that's garbage. It's the reality, because most people can't talk rationally, you know? So I think that's the reality. It's best not to talk about it. I think it's tragic and ridiculous that you can't talk about something. You can't talk. You just can't even talk about it. That's my pet peeve, guys. My pet peeve is like you're automatically put into a box or a label just when you have a discussion. When I talk about masks, right? I've been talking to you guys about that for a couple min- months now. Um, on one label, you guys may have thought I was one political affiliation talking about masks. And now you might think I'm another political affiliation. I've actually had two different perspectives, completely polarizing opposite perspectives on masks, completely different. One was a conservative view, one's a, a liberal view, and guess what I am? I actually have a political affiliation and my political views didn't change. But guess what I did? My rationalization on the topics of masks has changed through the process and my political affiliation is still the same. What I use is rational thought. I use rationalization to talk things out, right? Unfortunately, most people today are not rational. They're nuts. They're batshit crazy. Hi, Viraj. I just said batshit crazy. Sorry, Viraj. I'm sorry, truth hurts, man. Some some elder adults gotta tell you, man, people are batshit crazy, or I said it. They're batshit crazy, Viraj. They're crazy. Talk rationally to people, Viraj. That's, I'm being your elder today, buddy. That's my advice for the day. You can differ from people, still love them, talk to them, and talk rationally. But people are nuts. (laughs) Is this, yes, hey, Wayne, what's up, buddy? Yes, this is the live chat. Yep. You think taboos are made to be, yeah, Taboos are made to be broken. Yeah, that's why I get in trouble. You are passionate and fun to listen to. Thank you. Some people hate me. (laughs) We need most more people are like you around, Lucian. Thank you very much. My family, I cannot talk to them as the political conversations become violent. Yep. If you're swing trading, what time frame should you use? (sighs) Good question. Uh, I personally like... Uh, depending how long you're swing trading, right? If you're going longer term, you'd probably want daily and weekly and hourly charts. Look to get in on a, you know, five minute setup, entry in a one minute, and then determine whether you're getting out on an hourly or a daily. I'm a shorter term swing trader, so I like daily, hourly, five minute. 
uh, charts. <clears throat> he is enjoying that he caught you saying a bad word. I did. Viraj, I'm saying, Viraj, I'm not putting, I'm sorry, Viraj, I ain't putting, I'm not putting a dollar in the cookie jar. You need to hear it. Grownups. Many grownups are batshit crazy, Viraj. I'm telling you, they are. They're nuts. Think rationally. You're a smart guy. You're 10 years old and you're paper trading. You're a smart dude. I like it. You're my buddy. When the stocks were bare and more 18 lows, was that an actual indication of the individual stocks? <clears throat> or the stock price is a reflection of the actual worth of the company based on actual assets? Uh, I'm reading the, your, the Facebook question about stocks on March 18th lows. Guys, I, I got to be honest. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm looking at patterns. I have zero clue what's going on behind the scenes right here. Zero clue. I'm a, I'm a day-to-day on this market. I feel like you can sneeze and it'll break out or you can sneeze and it'll break down. No pun intended. <laughs> I mean, and it's 2020 an election year. So country shut down, 2020, election year. I have no clue. The only thing I'm thinking, my logical brain keeps saying over and over and over again from what I read is... Trump is in control of the Federal Reserve right now during an election year, and he's been talking a lot about using quantitative easing, and he wants to get reelected. So common sense would tell me at some point you would think he would bring it up, you would think, to all-time highs. That's my logical brain. It's still going up. The market is still going up. Now, will, will it continue up from here? Will it trade sideways? Will it tank and drop down? When will he use QE? I don't know. So as far as this stuff, what's going on, it's, I'm day-to-day -day on it, guys. I'm absolutely day-to-day -day on it. But don't forget that supposedly he's in control of quantitative easing. That can change. And supposedly they haven't used the quantitative easing yet. Supposedly. So that just the threat or the, the saying or the potential that they're using QE may be what's pushing things up. I have no clue. So the fundamentals behind the scenes right now, I mean, it's called like it is, guys. They're not good, right? <laughs> I mean, everything's shut down and companies are doing terrible, so the fundamentals are awful. But, you know, if you bail everybody out and push it up and buy the stock market back up, you know, the thing will be, you know, after the election, whoever gets elected or reelected, that'll be the true story is after the election, what happens to the stock market? That would be, that'll be interesting. <clears throat> all right yo yo from scotland what's up scotland see i like there's an attorney in your neighborhood that is 100 percent opposed to your political views but we can talk irrationally that that you can talk rationally perfect that's it that's that's great uh can i tell a good stock to watch for the next few weeks uh i, I i'm doing the watch list guys i'm more short-term trader tim if you want our real-time alerts, Tim does more longer-term. So you can subscribe to our real-time alerts. He does more longer-term. Uh, do I think we're going to see new lows? I, I don't know. I don't know. Because every time they th – there's fake-outs all over the place, guys. You thought, right? You got, I mean, who thought – you thought today the market's going to tank. And boom, it pulls it right back up. You have this one, two, three candles holding support right here. We'll have to see. Thank you, he says. He will take up your charting courses. That's what I'm saying, Viraj. Take candlesticks, buddy. This is it right here. Take our courses. Follow this candlesticks. That'll change your... That's a skill set forever, my man. Forever. I love it. Uh, M. Hala... Halawa... Halawa... You just registered annually. Awesome. Thank you. And trying to log in, but it doesn't find my credential. Any tip? Yes, do email us right here, bbteam at bullishbears.com. And just shoot a quick uh, email there, and Angel will take uh, will help you out. <laughs> Tops. 
Love it. Love having you hang out. Do they have a YouTube as well? Do we have a YouTube? Uh, I'm not sure who you mean. We do. You're on our YouTube. I don't know. Yeah. Blind Trader, you're on our YouTube right now. You're talking to me here. Who is that? Where? Da, 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 da. <clears throat> All right. Probably got to end this stream at some point. And these guys are very responsive. Thank you very much. Perfect. Well, you know what I'll do because I got to do it anyway. You guys can keep posting some questions. I'm going to do my process of going through the watch list. So <clears throat> if you're watching the playback on YouTube, guys, just you can stop it now. I'm, I mean, unless you want to watch. I'm going to just do what I do with posting and doing the watch list. If you guys have more questions, I can talk to you in between. This usually takes me a period of time to go through anyway. So, guys, I'm going to hang with friends this weekend. I'm not going to social distance. I've been social distancing for two months. And I realized I had some good counseling in my life talk to someone with good counsel who said you're like one of the most extroverted people i know isolation has been terrible for you you need to get back out in the public and i said yeah you're right last weekend i started hanging out with people again i feel fantastic and you can say well if you go out in public you might get corona or you might die and i would just kind of go back to like i have that tape Dave Portnoy's video. I'm like him. I'm like, at this point, if you asked me, it's a good question, right? So a question might be, hey, Lucian, would you, uh, would you give up bullish bears? You know, would I, if I had to give up bullish bears and lose bullish bears to go to a nine to five job again, I'd say, heck no, I would... I'd take my risk with Corona. If I get Corona, I get Corona. I have a 90, probably eight plus percent chance of living. I'd rather take my chances. That's me personally. There's some people you can't, right? So I obey the rules. They do tell me to wear a mask in uh, when I go to grocery stores or certain places. Oh, I got some newer masks. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I got a... Guys, I got I got some new masks. These are pretty cool. I got to show you guys these. So here's pretty cool. I might I might have to. So I told you guys I have the N95 masks, right? And I told you I'm not giving them up. Well, I'm keeping my N95 masks. And guess what? So some of you guys are going to be like, how dare you keep your N95 masks and not give them to the medical community? And again, like I told you guys, not my fault. Not my fault the medical community was not prepared for this. I'm keeping my N95 mask for a rainy day. But guess what I'm doing now? I'm keeping them and I'm not using them. So I'm actually not going to use the masks that work. I bought things that are more comfortable for me now. And Viraj, if you're still listening, buddy. Exactly, Mari. That, my, that guy that on uh, that YouTube that says if I get Corona, I get Corona. He's my inspiration now. Now what I did, guys, I got comfortable masks. So now I'm not going to use the masks that work. I'm going to go out in public with masks that don't work and feel comfortable. And I'm going to show you guys. This is a really good mask. I'm really, I really like this. I'll show you where I got these on Amazon in a moment. They'll probably sell out. But this is really comfortable. It's like a dry fit material. And if you see... <clears throat> These are very comfortable. It's like dry fit. It's like a gator. And if you look, right? So now, right here, it's like a dry fit. It's a lot lighter. I can breathe through it. Guys, what I'll also do to play right here, I'll put it up over my mouth. I'll let the germs through my nose. And if I have to, right? I might just walk around the store like this. And if someone sees me, there you go. I'll go real quick. Let it fall back down. So much easier to play the game right here. 
So I could do this way more comfortable. I don't even care. I'm only doing it to play the game at this point. I don't care about it anymore. Me personally, if like I said, if I get Corona, I get Corona. I'm trying to build my immune system up because you've had me on lot. They have been, I've been on lockdown for two months. I haven't been out in public for two months. Now I get to get the germs so I don't get sick for being with a low immune system. So here's my the black one I got. I really like it. It's a good one. I don't know if I'll put it over the ears or what I'll do with it, but it's it's comfortable. I like it. It's comfortable, and it's good for playing the game. Then I did, I actually ordered a bunch, guys. I got other ones that haven't come in yet. I got these ones <coughs> as well. This is, I don't know if this is like polyester or what this is, but it's different. I got like, I must have like 15 or 20, I don't know how many masks. I have, oh, I have a Nike dry fit one that's coming too. Farage, what do you think, buddy? I wouldn't die because of Corona. <laughs> Thanks, Destiny. This is that. This one stays on pretty well. This actually does well around the nose. It's not. It's. Do I like the other one better? A little bit. I do like the other one a little bit better. Farage, what do you think, my man? Namakita. So I did get. What did I do? I went to. These are. So, as I can feel here, it's not as comfortable as, uh, oh, what did that say? Hold on, I'm just reading the news. Oh, okay. So, eh, I still feel like the other ones are a little bit more, the other one's a little more breathable. This one right here. This one is way more comfortable right here definitely i like it's more breathable that's like wearing a nike dry fit well now makita i'm not going to be honestly i'm only wearing this for uh i'm actually not going to be i'm only wearing this for like the supermarket and super quick so i'm not i'm only putting it on if i have to like like i said i got these uh Remember I told you guys, you'd be jelly. I got the P95 mask. You want to talk? Some of you guys might be jealous. Guess what? I am keeping these. I ain't donating these at all. I'm going to be a jerk. I ain't. Look at this, P95. You know what P95 is? This is like, I think, the top of the line. There's N95. R95 and then P95. You can say what the heck's the difference? Well, it has to do with oil particles from what I've read. N95 doesn't take care of many oil particles, right? <clears throat> R95 does more than N95 with oil oil particles. P95 supposedly it's the best at preventing oil from seeping in. You can say, what do I need that for? I could say, I don't know. I'm not out in the oil fields. But all I know, oh, yeah, this bad boy. Oh, this is comfortable. I would have loved using this one. I was actually ready to use a mat. This is, I, I think I like this one. But guess what, guys? I ain't using it. And this is the mask they want me to wear. People will kill for these masks. I ain't using them. And I ain't giving them up. It's hot as hell. I can barely breathe. It's warm. It's really hot. These are the ones. They got P95 masks. <laughs> but guess what I'm doing, guys? I'm putting it right back in the box. I'm keeping them. <clears throat> and that's it. I'm not doing anything with them other than keeping them. And some of you will think I'm a jerk. But that's... Just the way the cookie crumbles. Put them back in. Okay, I'll sell it to some of you for a million bucks. If any of you guys that really want these, I will I'll sell you these masks for a million dollars. Or maybe a hundred thousand. 
Do you guys want for hundred thousand? It's got the it's got the packaging. There's two masks in here. If you're afraid of dying from the Rona, a hundred thousand for the pair. <clears throat> right. I also got. I want guys. I was using this one to play the game. I had these cheapo ones. I was wearing these super cheapo ones because <laughs> I I didn't care anymore. So I was wearing the super cheapo ones just to like play the game. What I have the N95s. I was just wearing these instead because I was playing the game. What's up, Josh? 100 Gs? That's what I'm saying, brother. <laughs> <clears throat> and we got goggles. If you want to wear some goggles. I was prepared, guys. They got me freaking out. At first, I was afraid. At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. Guess what else I got, guys? Hand sanitizer. All right? Got some hand sanitizer. What else we got here? We got gloves. Guys, I even bought electric candles, right? I bought these candles at first because... They got me so afraid that I was going to die. I got electric candles because I thought we'd lose power, right? Because I didn't know if they were going to, like, take us all down. We'd lose power. We're going to be stuck in the house. So I bought some electric candles, right? I got it all. Hand sanitizer. I got rubber gloves. I got my thermometer, right? <clears throat> got it all. Oh, I bet you guys don't have one of these. You know what this is? A pulse oximeter. You can say, what the hell is a, is a pulse oximeter? Supposedly, you needed one of these things because you needed to know if you had enough oxygen. I don't even care anymore. I bought these because I was afraid I was going to die. I have, a I have two of them, brand new ones. I'm not going to use it. That's what happens, right? Not afraid anymore. Oh, come on. Let's get back to the charts. I already did charts for an hour and a half, man. I'm already done. I could pull up one if you want. I'm all dumb. That's why I'm ranting for you guys. <clears throat> if you want me to look at one, I'll look, look it up for you. I'm just ranting around. <laughs> Virage will try to invite you as a guest speaker in a stock market game class at his school. I don't know if they'll let me in his school. I don't know if they'll like me. <laughs> Uh, unless they don't like politically correct, then maybe I can go. If you need somebody more politically correct, we can bring another team member. That would be better. I don't know if the school system will like me. RCL. RCL. Well, possible. Might be holding some support. Let me see. Let's look at the hourly possibly kind of an inverse head and shoulders needs to get above that 50 SMA on the hourly. If it can clear that 50, it might have some room up. All right. What's the date today? Tomorrow, the 14th. Oh shoot. By 15, 2020. Huh? Yeah. Let's see, five fourteen. I'm just updating the website, guys. Let me just see here. I think those are right. No swing trade watch list for tomorrow. We're just doing the day trade one. If you wear an N95, P95, or any of them for any long of time or in time, you would suffer a hypoxia. What's that? 
Uh, you shorted RCL at 28. Uh, ooh. <clears throat> Ouch. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, you don't know nowadays if it can't, eh, it's tough. If it, it could reject Yeah, 28, that's tough, man. Ouch. I don't even know what to say about that. You don't know what they're going to do with, especially Royal Caribbean. You don't know what they're going to do at the moment. I wish I had a better answer. I don't know. Maybe it looks like it's getting bought up. <clears throat> um, oh, lack of oxygen, and that is wrong. So if you wear those masks for too long, you get lack of oxygen. Good thing I'm not going to. <clears throat> I mean, I heard you're supposed to... I mean... If I wear the mask and they get contaminated, I'm going to get more likely to get sick. That's the other thing. They want you to wear a mask, but like it's hot weather. And now if you have the germs, you're putting all these bugs and the bad stuff back in your system. I wore them. I was like, I told you guys, I was the only one wearing a mask for two months. I, I played the game. Now I'm like, something ain't right. <clears throat> wow, a girl in New Jersey who wore her N95 for eight hours straight wound up blacking out while driving her car and crashing. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm just worried about the journey. Maybe just... When I say it, it actually... Like, think about it. Like, you got to... Like, you have to just think, just in general... You know, the way I'm thinking is, and I, I'd say it jokingly, but it's actually kind of true. There's nothing I can do to stop from getting corona. I can't live in my house forever, right? I can't live in my house forever. I'm an extrovert. I'm going to go crazy. I've been going crazy for a couple months. I need to go out in the public and see people, those that want to hang out. So I'm an extrovert. I've been crazy going inside for two months. My immune system's probably not the greatest from being stuck in the house for two months. Um, I live in a state that is a uh, <clears throat> that leans that leans more liberal, so chances are I uh, probably won't be opening up when they say they're going to be opening up. So what am I going to do? That's where I'm just saying if I get corona, I get corona. I'm not trying to be a jerk when it. I'm being silly, but if I get Corona, I mean, I, there's quote unquote, no cure for this thing. And who knows if or when there ever will be one. So odds are, if that's the case, unless I never leave the house ever again, I'll get Corona. And they're saying many of the new, the new people that are getting Corona are actually people that are stuck at home, that are staying home. Though so many of the new cases are actually ones of people staying home. Well, that's odd because you also got to think common sense, guys. You do have to go out at some point, right? You got to buy some something at the grocery store. So what happens if you shelter in place for six months straight and that one second you run out to CVS, you get corona? Then you're screwed. Ah, that's right. It is the 15th tomorrow. So at that point, that's what I got to say to myself. I'm going to get it if I'm going to get it. So if I get it, I get it. And they say most people survive. So if most people survive, then I'll be fine. And if not, I'm a Christian. So hopefully I'll go see the big guy above. All right. And then I won't have to deal with Corona and won't have to worry about it. All right. <coughs> All right, so what are you guys saying? Yeah, I sprayed. That's I guys, I did it. I sprayed my N95 mask for with hydrogen peroxide. I don't know if that's seven percent alcohol. I was doing it every week. I'm not doing it anymore. 
I don't care what people think. I ain't doing it anymore. I'm wearing my crappy ass mask. I'm wearing my breathable one only to when I have to. And then I'm not wearing it. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. And I'll, I'm not, I'll, I, I don't care. Because, again, I'm going to get it, whether I like it or not, if it's as bad as they say. If it's not as bad as they say, then I'll be fine. So either way, I'll be fine. I know people that live in senior citizen communities in Florida, like the 55 and older. Pfft, they're going out. They're going out like it's nothing. <clears throat> they're not even worried about it. I was, I'm 41 years old. I was freaking out for two months. They're sitting there living life down in, 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 in 55 year and older, not wearing masks, didn't care. And they're totally healthy, happy, fine. Crazy. JC Penny at the moment. Let me see. JCP. <laughs> JC Penny's a penny stock. Good. That was a garbage. Co I never bought cup clothes at that company, man. I'm sorry if you like JC Penny, but ah, that's a penny stock. Uh, not looking so hot at the moment. Yeah, that's just not. They're gonna probably go bankrupt. You would think at this point, it's a penny stock. It doesn't look so hot at all. It looks terrible. <clears throat> all right, so the penny stocks list is updated on the website. Wait. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, dang it, I did it again. Masks aren't for you, it's for the vulnerable around you. But they're making us all wear it, though. You know? So that's the thing. If it's not for me, they're making me wear it. So they're making me wear it for other people. But we don't know who's vulnerable. So they're making me wear a mask. I'm not wearing it anymore for my own benefit. I'm only wearing it because I like, if I have to go get something in a grocery store or something, they want me to wear it. <clears throat> but guess what? When, it, when the curve wasn't flattened and it was awful... They weren't making where people wear masks. Now the curve is flattened, and now everybody's got to wear masks. Guys, I'm sorry, but that shit's weird. I was the only crazy person wearing a mask for two months when this thing was nuts. The only part, I was literally the only one of the only people. One of the only people wearing a mask. Now, there's a lot less cases. They're talking about opening it up, and now, now everybody has to wear one. Why wasn't everybody having to wear one? For two months. Why are they having to wear it now? Everybody should have had to wear one for two months. That's the stuff. I'm sorry. Like, that's not a political thing. That's not a political question. That's a very legitimate question. I was diehard wearing a mask for two months. Now I'm not wearing a mask. I'm still the same political affiliation. Those are two different political views. Put that, right? That's called rationalizing. I'm rationalizing. They say I got to wear it for other people, not for myself. Well, why am I wearing a mask? Because I'm not wearing it for myself. It's for the vulnerable around you. But how do I know who's vulnerable around me? Because they're all at the grocery store. If they're out at the grocery store, probably they're fine. So they're probably not vulnerable. Right? I mean, am I talking crazy? So, I mean, that's just my rational thought. I don't have a CBRN mask. What's that? <laughs> you had it and beat it in five days, but you're a rancher, outdoorsman, high immunity, wasn't that bad. Well, God bless you. I'm glad you're all right. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Guys, I'm not trying to be political about it. I'm just, I mean... I have, I have a vid, I have a video, I have two, I have two videos on my phone. I have videos right on my phone right now. 
I have a video of Tony Fauci saying two months ago, nobody should be wearing masks out in public. Now he's saying everybody should be wearing masks out in public. I have a video right here, right? I also have the same video of him saying two months ago, nobody has to worry about the coronavirus as human beings. Now we can't open the country. That's not political. That's not a, there's nothing political about that. Those are actual videos of him. Him saying two months or a month or two ago, nobody should be wearing masks. Now everybody should wear them. He said two months ago, the virus is not going to affect humans. Now we're all going to die if we open up the country. That's not political. That's what I heard clear as day right here. I don't even want to play the videos because then you're going to like, oh, where'd you get that source from? It's his, it's his, it's him. (laughs) It's not like edited. It's not an edited video. That, you know, so am I wrong, you know, to be, you know, so I played that Dave Portnoy video that, I mean, is he wrong? I mean, it's, that's, we should be upset, you know, like there's something not going, something's not right. I don't know if it's lies or if it's omitting of truth or what it is, but that's what was going on. None. All right. No watch list for. No watch list. All right. I'm almost done updating the website. Lubro. Lou, bro, it's of course for the folks who are non-symptomatics carriers. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't, I, again, legit question. I don't understand if I have no symptoms, if I'm fine, if masks don't work, then why am I wearing a mask out around in public when people that are out in public are doing just fine and they're not vulnerable? I don't, I don't, I don't. And if you can say, well, then if they're necessary now, what the hell were we doing for two months? When it was awful and the world was going to end, why was I the only asshole wearing a mask? I was the guy wearing a mask, an N95, disinfecting it every week, sheltering in place, not leaving for two months. I grocery shop for elder for elderly people in my life because they're terrified to leave the house. And meanwhile... Like I'm getting, I'm sorry. There's mixed messages. It's not, it's not a political thing. They, there's, I literally have two, fo- I have two videos right on my phone saying the virus is not going to affect human beings and don't wear a mask out in public. And now why the heck? Um, that's weird. <clears throat> there we go. 514 was, um, hmm. Was 514th watch list. Huh? Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to see. What was yesterday? Did I have a swing trade watches? On... Hmm. Day trade, 14, 14. That was today. Was there a 13? Oh, 13. There was none. That's why. 13. 14. 13. Let's do this. Thirteen. Five. Thirteen. And that one goes there. No watch list. <coughs> All right, so the previous watch, let's see, that's it. You guys liked I'm trying to do, I, I have to update now because someone asked, hey, can you do previous watch list for the swing trade? Now we have them up for there and the day trade watch list. So the day trade is good. Penny stocks list is good. <laughs> Let's see your comments. Da, 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 da. Oh, 
Ah, they were Wayne. You got three ninety a ninety five mass. Wayne says, masks should be worn by those that are infested. If a non-infested person wears a mask, there's some additional protection, not significant. Well, I mean, again, it's that, I mean, I, I'm sorry, but I have legit, I mean, I don't, I'm, I don't want to wear a mask anymore. I was the one that was wearing a mask for two months when they said people didn't wear a mask. Tony Fauci said I didn't need to wear a mask. And I wore a mask for two months. <clears throat> Tony Fauci saying I now wear, need to wear a mask every day, and I don't want to wear a mask. I, what, what the hell am I supposed to do? That's not a political thing. That's he said nobody, human beings didn't have to worry about this virus. He said that two months ago. I got a video right on my phone two months ago saying that I have to worry about it. And now we can't open up or we're gonna die. That's not political. That's legitimate that's a legitimate that's why i played that dave portnoy video for you guys it's legitimate stuff that's not a political aisle thing man there's two completely polar opposite messages we're not going to be affected by this virus it's not going to hurt us and we don't need to wear masks here we are two months later we're going to die if we open up the country and we all need to wear masks you what do i do with that my logical brain, I have a very logical brain. That's extremely illogical. There's no logical sense in that. What logically my brain says, we're not being told something truthful, either now or then. My only thing is, I don't know if we were lied to two months ago or if we're being lied to now, or both. I, I mean, something ain't right. So that's my only thought. <laughs> Well, we'll see, Wayne. All I know is I'm done, done with the watch list, done with quarantine. This weekend, I'm going to go find, uh, I'm going to go to a cookout Saturday. Cookout, probably a bonfire and rides in a Jeep, right? I'm going to go ride in the Jeep. And guess I ain't wearing a mask. You know, maybe I'll have a couple beverages, some nice food, and... If I get Corona, I get Corona. I've already been sheltered in place for two months. I could go for two weeks more. I already have freaking, I have so much food in a shelter bunker shelter because I thought I was going to, they maybe seem like I was going to die, you know. Then the grocery store stayed open for a couple months. So I have, I mean, I have three months worth of ramen noodles and beefaroni and soup if I need to have it. I'm good to go. Oh, nice. Your kids and grandkids are coming for a couple weeks, visit in a couple weeks. Nice. Over 99% who have it <clears throat> have no ill effects from it. It's really a bunch of hype. <laughs> I make deliveries to the hospital constantly and have had not been sick. I have, I, I have no, I, I do not know one person that has it. Not saying people don't get it. I know there are people that are getting it. Not one person I know, family, directly, indirectly, is at it. I know I've talked to people that have know somebody that knows somebody, but nobody directly. I probably have it. Who knows? With my with what I put in my body, guys, I do not eat healthy. Maybe uh, you know, I maybe maybe I have it. I could be a carrier. Who knows? But our, well, Wayne, you said, don't worry about yourself, but the medically challenged folks you come in contact with. Typically, those are the people that are staying sheltered in place. The medically, that's what they said. The older, elderly and vulnerable are the ones not going out typically in public. So the elderly and vulnerable. I'm actually shopping, grocery shopping for elderly and vulnerable people. Not because I'm some great guy. I'm doing it. I love these people. So when I go grocery shopping, I buy food for these people. And they're elderly, over 70-something years old. And then I, like, leave the food outside their door. So I don't come in contact with them. But in the grocery store, you know what I mean? There's – the people are out. There's actually – the funny thing is when I was the guy wearing a mask for two months, the crazy guy in the store with the N95 mask, 
the elderly people that were grocery shopping were wearing nothing. And I was the 41-year-old guy with no mask. How did my... Logically, I felt like a jerk. I was like, wait a second, I'm wearing this mask to try to protect these old people, and then we're not wearing a mask. And then you could say, well, there was no mask. But then the funny thing is, everybody has magically a mask now. So if you want it, so go figure that one. That's weird. Very weird. Weird stuff. <clears throat> had a brother and cousin that had it and are recovered. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome that they... That is good. What state do you live in, Wayne? Uh, so you go to the grocery store and only 40% have been wearing. Well, in, I live in Connecticut. Well, that's where I was wondering what state you're from. In Connecticut, it's like mandatory. They have a big like sign in there. It says like CDC mandatory. You have to wear a mask to come in here. <clears throat> northern georgia brother in indiana and cousin in texas <clears throat> now georgia you guys have a a republican governor so you're not pro you're not mandatory uh you don't have to wear mandatory masks right and wayne wayne no mandatory mask there I'm assuming the same thing in Texas. Texas is a conservative state. Indiana, I'm not sure. I think they're conservative. <clears throat> in all three of those states, do they have to wear a mask mandatory? No, we are actually opening up in Georgia. Yeah, but when you go to like a grocery store in Georgia, do you have to wear a mask there now? Is it mandatory? I think I'm done updating everything. Let's see. Not required. Yeah, that's the difference. <clears throat> so that's where, guys, that's a perfect example. I mean, listen, guys. <clears throat> I mean, I'll tell you as it is. I don't care. I'm a conservative, right? But it's not a conservative viewpoint, all right? Like, I I live in a, in a Democratic state or Democrat state, right? So I live in Connecticut. I'm a conservative. I have no choice. If I want to go get, get grocery stores, I have to wear a mask. For the past two months, I was wearing a mask when I didn't have to. So that's, it is, it, it's weird, right? It is a weird thing now, putting like politics aside. It's weird now, like I'm talking to Wayne right here and I guess Georgia, Indiana, and Texas, I'm assuming don't have a mandatory wearing of masks. I live in Connecticut and it's mandatory. It's, that's, my brain has to figure that out and say, okay, is this a political thing? How do I not think, is there something political here? Because it's weird. It's not like, you know, if I have to wear a mask in Connecticut, then Wayne should have to wear one in Georgia, right? <coughs> it's weird. So that's why I've been, you guys will remember, go back to my videos two months ago. I was going crazy cuckoo. I was doing some cuckoo videos, uh, because I was stuck in quarantine. That's because I'm an extrovert. I should be out in public. Now I feel more free. Because now I'm going to go to cookouts and have fun. All right, guys. I'm done. I think I updated the website. I think everything is good to go. Lots of rant. Ah, no. I made a mess up. I made a mess up. Because I keep thinking tomorrow is the 14th. But tomorrow is the 15th. Tomorrow's Friday. That's why we don't do swing trade watches on Friday going into the weekends. <clears throat> yeah, so Wayne says, I do not think it's political. Trump has pushed push most of this to the governors. 
Well, correct. Not saying, well, again, are the gut. My question is, are governors making it political at this point? Again, I'm not sure if this is true. I heard rumors, right? Because everybody's getting all these stimuluses and bailouts, right? I heard, and I don't know if it's true. Don't correct me. This is not like a, uh, I'm not doing political. I heard that there might be talks that maybe some of these states, like maybe California, wants to shut down longer because they want the government to bail them out. I'm not sure if that's true. It actually could make sense. Like if they're in debt and there's problems, if they stay closed longer, maybe they want Trump to bail them out. That's possible. I'm not saying that's the case. Don't say I'm saying that. I heard that. So I don't know if that's why some of these states might be playing political, right? Maybe they're staying closed because they want to be bailed out. I don't know. So, hey, I would, I probably would try too if I ran a state and I bank, I was bankrupt. Maybe I would try to, you know, try to get money. I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying I maybe that's the case. I don't know. All right, guys. I will catch you all later. Have fun. Stay safe out there. And that's all I got. Enjoy.